Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. Today I have for you a deep clean and organization of my fridge. So let's just get into it. How do we end up here? Here are a little before shots of the freezer and fridge before we get started. Uh, there was really no organization whatsoever. Everything was just kind of thrown in here. Uh, we were having major issues with our freezer because of just stuffing it too full. And so I wanted to take care of that. And there was some type of smell going on in my kitchen. And so I figured it was time to do a really thorough cleaning of the fridge again. Last time I did it was spring. I know, disgusting. So I wanted to make sure to give everything a good wipe down. Take out some of those expired foods that were in here and just kind of give it a little bit more organization and yeah so that is what we're doing today we have a lot of work but let's just get started Before we get started inside the fridge, I wanted to tackle the top of the fridge. This always gets super cluttered for us. Um, we just kind of throw things up here all the time. If we're taking things away from the kids because they're misusing things or whatever, we'll throw it up here and yeah, it just gets pretty bad. So. I'm going to do a good declutter of the top of the fridge, give it a good wipe down, and then I picked up a couple of baskets to put on top of here because I know this will get cluttered again, but at least the baskets will kind of hide it and it'll look a little bit better up here on a regular basis. So just gonna clean it first and then we'll do a little organization. Okay, so as you can see, there is not a ton in either one of these baskets, which is just how I like it. But I know things will collect in here because this was everything that was up there beforehand, and then you know, a couple of random toys and whatnot. So I know toys will get thrown up here. We always keep the dog's treats and bones up here. Um, like I said, cereal. And then I was going to put that little lantern in this basket, one of the baskets anyways, too, but I think it kind of tucks away nicely back there, so I'll probably just keep it. But my husband's lunchbox, when he gets home, will be able to fit in this tall basket here, too, so that 
we don't have to see that ugly thing all the time. And yeah, I think this will just kind of like contain the clutter up here at least. It's not going to remain perfectly organized, but at least the typical person won't be able to just walk in and see the disaster that is the top of our fridge. So I like it. On to the next. Can't get over you. Just want to talk things through. Tell me what to do. Don't give up. After all that we've been through, I give my all to you. Just tell me what to do. Don't give up on me. After I had put away some of that stuff from the top of the fridge, I'm going to move on into the freezer. I'm just going to remove everything from in here and throw away all the bad food while I'm at it. There was a ton. I really hate that when you're decluttering the fridge and you realize how much food has gone bad, but our freezer wasn't working the right way and so so much of the food was freezer burned. So I just tossed that and I am getting the rest of the food ready to store in some new bins that I picked up at Target today. Um, but I will be using that to provide a little bit more organization in here. So I don't know if you can really, I think you can, yeah. Look at all these big ice chunks and then up there you see all those all right, ice driblets. See like the issue for one is that we have it, oh my gosh, we have it too full in here that I don't think it's cooling properly but also it certainly doesn't help when my dear son plays with down here is where the controllers are so you have the can you see that the fridge controller and the freezer controller like the temp wise and he always messes with that he turns them all the way down all the way up all of the time and I think it totally messes um, mostly with our freezer and so I needed to clean this out because I had to throw all of this food away because it's just frozen. I'm sure it's freezer burned and no good anymore. So um, I want to get this cleaned up as best as I can right now. And then um, I'm going to use a couple of containers to kind of better organize the stuff that we put in here. So this doesn't happen again. So <laughs> let's do that. I called you mine You've been on my mind Don't hang up Maybe I'm a little bit jealous Haven't told my friends we ended it Yeah, I know that it's wrong Maybe it's a little bit selfish Calling you up when I'm wasted When I know that you moved on Is she in your arms right now? So I'm just doing a good wipe down throughout the whole fridge, but I wanted to do a really hot um, wash rig in the freezer to kind of melt down that ice. Just get that all out of there so we have a nice clean slate. Um, I recommend removing any pieces that you can remove from your any part of the fridge. It just makes it so much easier to clean. So that's what I did here. Um, I could remove those little shells, which made it so much easier to clean inside of them. So I gave those a good washing. Now I'm just going to put them back in and finish up organizing in the freezer. Don't give up on me yet, baby. Jealous, haven't told my friends we ended it Yeah, I know that it's wrong Maybe it's a little bit selfish Calling you up when I'm wasted When I know that you moved on Is she in your arms right now? Tell me, is she gonna stay the night? Tell me, is she in your arms right now?
So like I had said, I picked up these bins from Target. Um, I'll make sure to link them down below in the description box, but they are labeled as fridge, freezer, or pantry bins, and they worked great for that. Um, I found them to be, like, deep enough and long enough to put enough food in for what I was going to use it for, so um, I thought they worked great. So if you are in the market for something like this, you can check out the link in my description box. But I'm just kind of categorizing the typical food that we have in our freezer, putting them in this bin, and then I'll put them back in the freezer. Okay, so this is what we have so far. <clears throat> I have all of the ice packs over here. Um, special treats we don't want the kids to ever know are in there. <laughs> um, and I thought I got four of these bins, but I guess I only got three. So I'm going to want to pick out one more. Um, so they actually work really nice in this freezer. They fit in here really nice. Depth-wise, they go all the way to the back, so you have tons of room to put things in there. Um, we are at the end of the week, so we don't have a lot of our groceries, and as you just saw, I threw a ton out. So all of the frozen fruits and veggies we had in here, I had a toss. So I would like another bin like this to put our frozen fruits and veggies in, but otherwise I have, like this is kind of like our supper or dinner um, bin, which really full right now but um this is like our chicken nuggets fries chicken patties you know like frozen meats and stuff for easy lunch and dinners um this is the breakfast bin because the kids always like frozen waffles or french toast or all of that kind of stuff so we always have that in our freezer this is like treats so ice cream is in there um popsicles, freezies, that kind of stuff. Um, and there's plenty of room in here to grow, like not like we need to, but if we needed to. And I had room for the ice tray. Um, but yeah, I would like just one more bin so that we can um, put our fruits and veggies in it. But otherwise, I think it looks way better than it did before. Okay, another little before shot of the fridge because we went into grocery shopping. So now there is a ton more food in here for me to have to take out and organize but I kind of wanted to do that I wanted to have a fully stocked fridge because then I knew what it would look like when I'm organizing if it's it's nice to clean it when it's pretty empty but if you're trying to figure out where things should go in your fridge and how you want to organize it it's best to make sure that you have all of the food that you would typically have in there so you know what it's going to look like but right now I am in efforts to not make all my food go bad I'm kind of just doing it in a little bit of stages so I took off all the food from the top shelf and I'm just doing a good wipe down of that shelf I use my Theus cleaner that's kind of my only cleaner that I've been using right now so I just sprayed that and I'm using a really hot washcloth to wipe it down and that's what I'm going to keep doing I'm going to take it shelf by shelf in here Baby, I was blind, on you forever. 
forever while I tried to find someone that could be my great love. Right in front of me, I didn't realize you were my dream. So you took me by surprise. Oh, yeah. So normally my husband is really great at removing all of the bad food before we put the good food in after we've grocery shopped. And I'm so thankful for that because I absolutely hate dealing with disgusting old food. If it were up to me, we'd probably have to go Tupperware shopping a lot because I would just throw away the whole Tupperware. <laughs> um, so luckily we didn't have anything too nasty in this fridge for me to have to deal with. Um, but I just removed any older expired food and now I am just still wiping things down, removing things that I can to make it a little bit easier to clean. So like this glass that I'm wiping down is removable. So I'm taking that out to get all up in the cracks and everything because that had a lot of crumbs and spilled whatever was spilled in there. Um, and I also removed the drawers too because those are so much easier to clean in the sink with soapy war warm water. And it's good to clean underneath the drawers as well. Facing all the lights And as the bass keep pounding on me, baby I really wanna make you mine
So it is nice to pull out the drawers to just wash them in the sink. But man, does my sink feel so small whenever I'm trying to wash these drawers in it because it's just near impossible. So I struggle a lot here, but they're all nice and clean and I feel really great about it. So I'm just finishing up using, you know, warm soapy water to wash out these drawers and then I'll put them back in and start organizing. Obviously, I am utilizing the built-in organization systems that are in most fridges or all fridges, um, which are like your veggie and fruit drawers, your cheese deli drawer. Um, so I'm putting the obvious things in those. And I have a couple different containers to use for the rest of my things. And... Um, I didn't go all out here just because I, or we, don't always buy the same things. I mean, we have a few staples in our fridge, which are what I'm going to use the containers for. We always have yogurt for the kids, snacks, and things like that. But it just didn't make sense for our family to have, um everything in a container and our fridge is kind of small too so I just it just doesn't work for us right now so um, I'm going to use containers or drawers where I can and then just kind of neatly place everything else in there and I think it looks so much better than it did before and that is all that I care about. I'm out of reasons, I'm out of rhyme But I'll only tell you that I'm out of time I'm sick of love songs, I'm tired of this And I wanna tell you straight just like it is You're watching me like you want me But you're still holding back, still holding back Honestly, you're annoying me With the way that you keep It is, and open my heart like you're fearless. Steal all the gold you can get, you can get. Show me your love, leave me breathless, breathless. Lastly, we are tackling the door of the fridge. So just like everything else, I'm removing everything. I'm going to do a good wipe down in here. I could have removed all of the little shelves and washed them, but they weren't too terrible since I last cleaned the fridge and I didn't want to mess up where they were all placed. So I did keep them in and just made sure I did a good wipe down and I decluttered, obviously, all of the old and expired um, things that are over in the store and um, tried to categorize um, all of the items as best as I could and put them back in here so that is neat and tidy and nice to look at. Like it is, then open my heart like 
like you're fearless Steal all the gold you can get, you can get Show me your love and leave me breathless, breathless Obviously not perfect, but it is a million times better than what it was and I'm always striving for progress over perfection and it just doesn't make sense to have organizers for every single thing in your fridge because we never have the same thing in our fridge ever. I mean there are a few staples, obviously milks and creamers, eggs. Um, yogurts and then the fruits and some veggies always but and then you know little things here and there but otherwise we always are switching up what we're eating we have ingredients in here for recipes we're making so it's just not always perfect but I'm happy with what it looks like now um, I put the eggs up top because we always grab for these every morning and then these are kind of like a little bit more miscellaneous stuff. Um, I guess I could keep some of those jar things in the door now that there's room down there. But it's fine there now. And, you know, sour cream we don't always have in here. But for recipes, um, this grocery trip we got some Lunchables for Wyatt. There's a chicken back there for supper. Um, but we usually always have some type of like raw meat for recipes so I have a little container here for those they're each individually wrapped in there as well because you know it's nasty but sometimes meat can leak <laughs> so it's nice to have a second thing there that it can catch in so it's not gonna be in my fridge so I like that and then these are for recipes as well, so that's kind of random, but this is always like our milk and coffee creamer section. It's the perfect height for them, and you can see um, I put the new ones we got for grocery shopping in the back, so we use up these ones first, and then down here is where I decided, or usually where we keep the yogurts for the kids we always have this full of yogurts because they will eat yogurt all day long if they could um, so it's nice down here because they can easily um, grab one themselves and then I also just put a little snack container down here too so there's just a bunch of little random fridge snacks right next to the yogurts for them drinks and then a th huge thing of um, salad mix that doesn't really fit down here which is where we always keep um, the fruits and vegetables the standard drawer situation why change something that works I mean built-in organization right there so we vegetables and fruit there just because we tend to go to the fruit more often so I put that right there by the door 
And then I'm really happy with how the door of the fridge came out as well. Um, I just kind of decluttered um, things that expired and threw those out. And I organized it, which works best for our family. So up here I figured would be good um, staples or cooking items here, things we use for cooking. These are sauces and, and such that we grab a lot. And then here are some more like sauces and things we don't use quite as often because I feel like this is harder to grab at. So I just put things we don't use very often there. Um, these are staples, especially for the kiddos. So I put that in a easy to grab location. And then down here is kind of like overstock, but there's just one thing down there now, but there's room to grow, so. To know it, can we just open up? Cause I got to know if you feel and that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it gave you tons of motivation to tackle whatever decluttering and organizing task that is on your to-do list. If it did, please give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you are not already. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.